I'd like to speak to you about a new program that we're doing that I have a lot of focus and commitment and energy towards that will happen in the third week in February at Garrison Institute just outside of Manhattan. Um, and it will be around the art of somatic coaching. And this whole idea became uh, uh, developed in me as I was writing the book, The Art of Somatic Coaching, embodying skillful action, compassion, and wisdom. And what it is, is it'll be a four-day program, uh, basically inside of the L1, L1, Leadership in One program that we do. Um, and, but it will be geared towards coaches, uh, coaches who are, already have their practices, facilitators, therapists, um, um, as well as people who are training to be somatic coaches. And so what this does, this program gives us an opportunity to, right from the very beginning, is to look at this directly through the lens of somatic coaching. And the fundamental piece of it is the, the piece around you doing your own work so you live more comfortably in your own skin. That you're more embodied in your commitments, what you care about, where you're going in your life. You're, you, you have the practices of coming back to the present moment and working from there. You have access to a wide range of emotions and that you can take a stand and fight for what you care about, what matters to you. And inside of that, that changes who you are, who you are as a self, who you are as an observer. And inside of that shift of how you look at the world and how you look at human beings, how you look at our planet, then we, we start to look at how you can build a somatic awareness with a client, uh, bringing their attention to the life of their body so they have new distinctions that they can move with and change the self that they are. We, we then can move into somatic opening, how our historical armoring and our conditioning is inside of our muscular system, our tissue system, our organ system, the way that we speak, the way that we uh, observe the world, and how we can dissolve those armoring and uh, be more free of them. And then thirdly, what are the practices necessary, necessary so that we begin to build a new shape, our new embodiment? Um, and, you know, there's a lot of talk these days around mind, body, spirit, or even people using somatics, and in truth, most of them are these paste-ons. Oh, we are including the body, but it's kind of like a paste-on, or I'm going to paste it onto you. But it doesn't have the depth to what somatics really is, and it doesn't really repudiate this idea that there's these different sections called there's a mind, there's a body, and there's a spirit. But we're one unified whole being. Our behaviors, our actions, our emotions, um, our uh, ability to perceive how we hold language in the world is all within this soma. And um, so we take leave of the whole Cartesian model of how all these are separated. And um, the, uh, uh, what I look forward to is really being able to spend a good four days with a group of committed people who know that they're going to be on the somatic coaching track and that we can go really into depth into one's personal work, how you work with others, what are the moves that you have to work with others, the presence that you need to build, and how you begin to perceive the world in a different way. So uh, I would really like to spend these four days with this kind of group of people, and we can go into a really deep sense of development and research about developing the, the notion of a very powerful somatic coaches. So um, uh, contact the office and um, take it easy, but take it.